All right, here we go. Epic classic rock. We got Aqualong by Jethro Tull. All right, let me jam through all these sections. Um, quite a solo on this one, so uh, uh, get all the way through that. And then after I go through each section, uh, I'll give you all the details on it and uh, help guide you through it afterwards. All right, so let's do it. have this intro riff and uh, most recognizable part of the song and it's a really cool little riff uh, this happens you know at the very beginning and then after all of the the huge interludes and solos we get back to it again at the very end all right so it's going to start here with some uh, single notes uh, we're going to do five on the a okay then we're going to go three six on the e all right and then we cap it all off with three, four, three on the A. All right, and then we would rest the rest of that measure and rest one more measure. And then we would do it one more time. Okay, so let's just do it up to tempo now. Okay, and now we can technically say the verse is starting. Uh, it's going to kick off with one more of those riffs. Okay, but right after we get to the end of that, now we're going to come up and hit some power chords. Uh, we'll come up to 4, A, 6, D for the C-sharp 5, and you hit it once, hold a moment, and then twice more. Okay, from there we move up two frets at the 6, A, 8, D for the D-sharp 5, and strum that the same way. 
All right, and following that, kind of the same deal. Up two frets for the 8A, 10D for the F5, and you could strum that the same way. Okay, but after we get done with our third strum there, we're gonna come over and do some more uh, single notes here. Kind of shift down back to our previous spot, and we're gonna go 6, 8 on the A. Okay, start the next measure with 6, 8 again. All right, and then we shift over to 4D, 4A. Okay, so it was something like. All right, we hold that the rest of that measure. And uh, get into this next measure, and we're going to hit uh, four sixes. Okay, down to 4A, 4D. Okay, start the next measure with 4D. Then we come over here and we do 7A, 7E. Right, and then we finish on a power chord with the 5A, 7D. Okay, so let's just try that whole last little bit slowly here. Okay, so some fun little timing and scaling on that. All right, so let's just try it all up to tempo now. All right, and after we go through that whole verse pattern a couple of times, uh, we get the second guitar that comes in and it's adding some harmony notes which sound really cool all right and just hitting some single notes here all right and uh it's basically coming in um after that initial okay and then once we get to our chords in the first guitar okay then this guitar is coming in with some notes okay and it's just layering it right on top of the other guitar so we get to those chords with the first guitar, and this guitar will start with uh, threes on the D, and it's strumming it basically the same way as the chords are getting strummed. One, and then two. Okay, then it moves up two frets for five on the D, same way. And then seven. Okay, and then it kind of follows uh, basically what we were doing uh, with the other guitar, but just in a diff different position now. Okay, so we're going to be here at the 5 7 on the D. We're going to go 5 7, 5 7. And then shift down 3G to 3D. Okay, four fives on the D. 3D, 3G. And then we go 3G, 6D, 6A. And then finish on four of the D. Okay, so like I said, it's just basically doing uh, the same style and timing as uh, what the first guitar was doing up here, but we're just moved it down here to a different spot for the harmony. Okay, so let's just put this whole run through together. And now the bridge section comes in, and uh, it's just kind of slow acoustic going on here. And uh, it kicks off with a G minor chord, all right? And it's just some like soft strumming here. Okay, so G minor, you just hit it a few times, a couple times for a measure. Something like that. All right, and then we're gonna shift up to an F, and you're gonna wanna play it up here at this voicing. We got eight A and tens on the DGB. Okay, because we're going to be doing this bit where we strum the F, and then we just kind of bounce back and forth between uh, some eights and back to the tens on the DGB. Okay, you want that kind of feel, that bouncing kind of strumming feel. Okay, and you can just go back and forth between those a few times during the measure. I do two measures worth of that F, all right, and then we shift it down to a C, 
three A and fives on the DGB and just kind of strum that the same way where you're just coming off to threes on the DGB and back to the fives. Okay, so something like that. About a measure's worth. And then we shift to C minor. Okay, so just take that shape and you know put the four on the B instead. Alright. And with this you can just bounce by taking uh raising the middle finger there and just hitting that three on the B. Okay, so about measures of that. And then back up to the G minor. Okay, one measure. And then finish on the F. All right, and same deal. You can do a little more with this where you do a measure where we're coming off from the tens to the eight. But now you can do something where you like take the pinky and just add an 11 on the B and come off between the 11 and 10 on the B. Okay, so we're just kind of adding those little suspended things to these chords now. Okay, something in that style. It can just be pretty loose strumming, you know, just make sure it's just smooth and kind of chill. All right, so let's try this whole uh, bridge progression all together now. second part of the bridge uh, basically the tempo just picks up all right it gets a little livelier and a little more complex with the uh, arrangement here um, so basically we're gonna want to stick with that G minor but now we strum it and then we can do a bunch of these dead string strums so just kind of like rest your hand don't really fret anything and just do the all right to fill out the measure just kind of going right on the beat all right, so about a measure's worth of that G minor. Then, of course, we come up and hit this F. All right, and you want to do kind of like a ba da ba. All right, and about two measures worth of that. All right, and then we go back to the G minor. All right, and we want to do that section, the G minor, to the two F uh, measures back to the G minor. You want to do that three times. All right, and after we get through that three times, uh, we switch it up a little bit. Okay, we're instead of uh, going back to the G minor, now we're going to go to a C minor. Okay, and you want to do a couple measures of that. Okay, and then back up to the F. And that for that F, you want to do four measures this time around. Okay. All right, so let's just try this first half here. It's gonna start back with the G minor. Okay, up to the F. Couple measures. All right, and then we can rock out a C now. Okay, to a C minor. All right, back to the G minor. And then to the F. All right, and initially you want to go through that F twice. All right, and uh, basically from that G minor all the way to this point, you want to do that four times. And the tricky thing here now is that every other time, uh, you want to end with that F doing it four times. Okay, so uh, sometimes you hold you hold that very last F for two measures. Every other time you hold it for four measures. Okay, so it's a little shuffle thing that happens there that you just need to keep track of. All right, so now let's try this entire uh, second bridge part all together now.
and we have this next interlude here, which is kind of the precursor for the solo. Uh, just hitting some like little scales and resting and uh, bouncing along here. All right, so it's going to start here with a seven on the G. Then we go six, eight, slide to ten on the B. Okay, rest to measure. And we come down here, we do three on the G, hammer on two, three, two, and then go three D, three A. Next part, we do three five hammer on A, then we go three five slide to seven on the D. Alright. Next section, go three A, three five, slide to seven on the A. We go five D, five G, and then to three G. Next part, three, four, five on the E, B, G. All right, and then finish the interlude by doing three, three, three on the E, B, G. Right, so now let's just try it all the tempo now. And then to, uh, for the second part of the interlude, we just have this scale up um, that gets us into the solo. Okay, and it's just going to be playing around here in this kind of G minor pentatonic with a lot of fives and sevens. Okay, so we go uh, three to five hammer on A, three five to slide to seven D. Okay, okay, four fives on the G. Okay, then we go back and forth between seven D. 5G, 7D, couple fives on the G. Okay, okay, then we go 7 to 5, pull off on the G. 7D, 5G, 7D. Then we go 5, 7 on the G. We bend 6 on the B. And then go 5, 7, G, slide out of it. So it's something like... Okay, so now let's just try this whole thing slowly here. So it's just kind of reel it off really quick and it's just condensed little scale thing. All right, so uh, just try it up to tempo now. All right, first part of the solo. Uh, we're going to hit these kind of offbeat notes here. Uh, start with the D, uh, 5 on the D. Okay, then we go 3G, 5G. Okay, 3D. 5A, 3D. Okay, we go 5 on the D. And now we pick it up a little bit. We go a couple 3s on the G. 5 pull off on the G, back to 3. Okay, go back and forth between the 5D, 3G, 5D. Okay. All right, now we do the slide up where we go 3 to 5 on the G, slide up to 7, back down to 5. To 3G, 5D. All right, now we do 3D, 5A, and slide that 5A to 3A, and then to 1 on the A, and then we go 1, 3 on the E. Kind of bring it back up. We go one uh, A, take three, slide to five. 
Okay, a couple threes on D to five. Three G, five D. Okay, then we do four threes on the G. Five D, three G. Okay, and then we do five seven slide up on the G. So, try it all at the tempo now. Okay, next part of the solo here, we do a 7 to 5 slide down on the G. Then we go 3, 5, pull off back to 3 on the G. Okay, and then finish on 5 of the D. Now we do 3G, 5A, 3-5D, 3G, 5D. Okay. Uh, from there we do stick in the same kind of area. We're going 5 to 3G, 3D, 5A, 3 to 5 hammer on on the D. From there we do 3-5 slide up to 7 on the G, okay, then we hit 6-B back to uh, 5 on the G, and we come hit at 8 on the B, 7 on the G, slide 7 to 9-G, okay, so it'd be something like... And then from here, we're going to start this uh, scale up, okay, where we do 8 to 10 E, 8, 10 on the A, slide to 12, okay, 3 tens on the D, hammer 10 to 12 on the D, 10 G back to 12 D, okay, 10 to 12 on the G, pull off back to 10, Okay, 10 again on the G, and then 10 on the D. Okay, so this is part of this big scale up here. Try it slowly, there we go. Okay. All right, so now let's just uh, try to get this up to tempo here. Okay, next part of the solo here, we're kind of uh, coming off of that big scale up. Uh, in a similar spot here, uh, we're going to be on the 12 of the D. Uh, then we hit a couple quick 10s and then do a pull off 12 to 10 D. Okay. And we do 12 A, 10 D, 10 G. Alright, and we do a pull off 12, 10 G, hit 10 D. 12A, 10D, 12A, 10, 12 on the D. Okay, and we hit that 12, we slide it down to a 5 on the D. Okay, and then we do this pre bent 3 release on the G here, on the 3. Okay, bend 5 on the G, come off to 3. Then we do a bend on the 5 of the G and release it. Okay, 3G. We go 3, 5, 3 on the D. 5A. Alright, and now we do 3E, 5A, 5D. 3G, back to 5D. 3G. Slide the 5 to 7 on the G. Hit 6 on the B. Okay. Now up to tempo. Okay, 
Okay, next section here will be at eight on the B. We're gonna hit that and then we're gonna hit eight B seven G. Okay, come off there. We go six, eight, six on the B. All right, and then we come up, we do 10 on the E to 8B. Okay, 8E, and then we do 6, 8 on the B. All right, and now we're gonna do this quick little pull-off bit where we're, uh, we hit 6B, we pull off 8, 6 on the E, back to 6B, and then pull off that 8 to 6E again. Okay, 6B. 6E, and then 8B. Okay, so it's just like a... Alright, and from there, uh, we go to that 6B, we do 7G, and then we just do this little scale down to uh, 6, 5. Okay. And then a quick 3, 5, 3. Okay, pull off 5 to 3, G, 5, D, back to 3, G, okay, 5, A, 3, D, 5, A, 3, 5, D. Okay, and then we finish this bit by doing 3 to 5, pull off back to 3 on the G, okay, and then 5 on the A. All right, so now let's just do it up to tempo. Last part of the solo here, it's this big scale up here. Um, we'll start here at the three to five hammer on of the A, and then we go three, five, slide the seven on the D. Okay, hit a few threes on the G. Hammer on five to seven G. Okay, seven G, six B, eight to B, slide to 10. And then from this point, we're going to come all the way up here, and we basically just do this 13 to 15 hammer on B with the 13 on the E. Okay, and you can hammer on again or just go 13, 15 B, 13 E, twice more. And then just finish on a 15 B. All right, so now we're just all up to tempo here. All right, and uh, basically it would just go through that uh, whole intro and first verse again. And uh, at the very end, we just kind of have this big flourish. All right, and all that is are these three chords that we have in the verse here, the C sharp. Okay, the four A sixes on the D, G, B. And then we just come up to two frets, six A eights on the D, G, B. Here for the D sharp, and then we finish on this F. 8A, 10s on the D, G, B. Okay. So uh, just nice big flourish at the end there. Thanks for checking out the video, everybody. Like it, share it, leave a comment. It's always good to hear from you. Um, do me a favor and hit the subscription button. I put out a video pretty frequent, so you don't want to miss out on that. Uh, check out the links in the description box below. I have really cool links for uh, tablature books, all the gear I use, t-shirts, fun stuff like that. So thank you very much, and we'll see you next time.